down all the time. All the time. Who's that little guy? Where's it? Is he coming back this year? Is he coming back this year? You know, I mean, we love him so much. You know, it makes me kind of sick. Yeah. I gotta tell you, this guy, you know, he just put, hey, listen, he just put on a really big show in Iowa City last night. And I had the pleasure of playing last year at his first show uh, at a beautiful Angler Theater in Iowa City. He had a full house, had a full house last night uh, with Fabrice Hillary and uh, our friend Carl Sonny Leyland, Mark Brown, they call him Mr. B, they were all there. And uh, so, um, anyway, Chase had called, my wife Nancy had called and told her that they were coming, but I didn't know they were coming. So, now we have a friend, Andrew Elias, he's here from Cardiff, Wales, ladies and gentlemen. And they call him the travel champion, and this guy is, he is nuts, okay? <laughs> He's our good friend, we love him, and he is, I mean, good kind of nuts, you know. So, anyway, if you go to his website, TravelChampion.com, he goes to Boogie Fest all over the world, and, uh, and I, we've been in so many places together, and I knew he was coming, but anyway, uh, shortly before we left the house to come here, I uh, put my dog on the leash to take him out to the bush, you know, and I opened the door, and there's Chase, and there's Andrew, and there's Fabrice Hillary. I just about fell on the ground. I just, I, I was so, so blown away, so blown away that they drove eight hours to come here. Can we give a hand for Ricky and I, please? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's really, it's really something else. So. So we're going to play a boogie woogie, and this is, I'm going to tell you the very, brief, the very brief story of how I met Chase. First time I was ever in Iowa, ever, playing in Des Moines, Iowa, with, with my friend Rob Lombard, invited me up to play with him. And the next morning I, I checked my emails and saw an email that said, coming to Iowa. And I opened it and says, hi, my name is Chase Garrett, uh, I just turned 16 years old, and uh, I'm a piano player. I have some of your CDs, I, I bought them online from CD Baby. So I learned one of your boogies, it's called a Creole Boogie. I learned it and I made a, a CD. And he says, I wonder if you'll ever be coming to Iowa anytime soon. Because I would really like to meet you. And I, and I asked my friend, I says, man, how far is Iowa City from Des Moines? He says, that's a little over an hour. So uh, I talked to his folks and they brought him to a party. We played a backyard party. <laughs> and they brought Chase and here comes Chase. You know, I chased her. And so he got up and started playing, and it was just uh, astounding. And then, and then he broke into some blues and started, and then he started singing, and it was like, oh my God. So two years later, I produced a, a Chase's first CD called Mrs. Blues. This also features Brian Miller on the drums. And, uh, anyway, so, uh, so this is the boogie that, uh, that he learned of mine when I sat here and listened to him uh, play my stuff, which kind of, it's kind of wild. <laughs> uh, so, uh, anyway, this is called the Creole Boogie. It's Creole Boogie Part 3. It might be Part 4, I don't know. <laughs>
Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we're going to take a short intermission, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to introduce the band once again. George